show you who is lost in the murky depths of YouTube. This is gonna be a little gameplay of this war of mine. And I guess there's not much to explain here. The game is old, everybody knows what's it all about. So let's give it another try. I'm gonna choose the most uh, regular or the base story of this game. As you can see, over the time they have added uh, other, uh, let's call them campaigns or stories. But uh, I'm just gonna go with the most basic one with Katya, Bruno, and Pavle. So, if you don't know, this game is depicting a sub imaginary, not supposed, but imaginary uh, domestic war, civil war, somewhere in the region of former Yugoslavia. Of course, it's all imaginary, so uh, there's. Uh, it's loosely based on the wars in Kosovo, I suppose, but. Uh, there's uh, no exact historical connection to it, it's uh, basically made up the story of this uh, game. As you can see the civil war, as the text says, Mil uh, government, military and rebels, civil civilian population trapped in the city, suffering hunger, disease and shelling. Everybody met each other, Katya used to be a reporter, Bruno used to have his own television cooking show. Pablo was a star at the local football team. And Katya even interviewed with him once. Okay, so yeah, this is the basic hi house, uh, I suppose, because I've played this game before. And it usually... there's other places you start off with. Uh, oh, sorry, other places you start from, but uh, this house, I guess, is the most basic house in the story. And yeah, why not? Let's start going. I'm gonna start off by cleaning all this debris up, grabbing what I can from this house. As you can see, the characters have some traits that are specific to them. For example, Katya is a good uh, bargainer, uh, so if you want to trade with someone, she's the best character to choose. Uh, Bruno is the cook, as the bio already said, so if you cook, you want to cook with Bruno, because he's simply the best uh, out, of, out of these three people in it. And Pavle is a fast runner, so that's pretty much straightforward, he just runs fast. And at the moment I'm just gonna clean this house up. Get all the loot that I can from this house. Uh, if I've, I guess if I've stopped raiding this house. Oh, I have to add here that I already got a game plan. Game plan set up, I've played this before. Uh, I guess I've even made it to day 15, but I've always failed. You know, it always has ended up in one character getting killed and me quitting, because I would like to go through uh, this uh, playthrough uh, with everybody staying alive until the very end. That That's kind of my goal here. Do I have a lockpick? It seems I have a lockpick. So, as you see, you can loot the initial house and get some starting supplies. Uh, I'm not sure if the is if the starting loot uh, varies or not, or it's the same every time you start the game. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure here in it. But uh, let's leave Katya and uh, Pavle clean the house up and let's start building stuff as it's uh, necessary to have a few uh, basic uh, items in the house which is gonna help you to start playing this game and uh, actually I don't wanna improve this uh, Wrong pattern again. I want to improve this 
workshop yet. One, two, build stuff. And what I'm gonna start off is I'm gonna make three baits because uh, rest is very important in this game. And uh, having your characters rested, I guess, is the base in succeeding in this game. I guess you could uh, make two beds, but I'm just gonna go with three because uh, if you even if you upgrade the workbench, you're not gonna be able to make uh, any more of an advanced bed or or something like that. So pretty much, uh, if you build the bed. Initially, you're gonna have the best beds available because uh, even after you upgrade the workbench, I don't think you will have an upgraded bed. And uh, the beds are, as far as I know, yeah, pretty much good enough. They will rest the characters sometimes quite quickly. So let's see. up the house. Yeah, it's been long without the shovel, I know. Let's see what the... Uh, what, uh, I can make another bed. So I got the three beds down. No, yes, no, yes. Back. Hmm, why can't I place the bed there? Make a bed. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember you could place the three beds in a row. Let's see in a second when Katja is gonna finish her bed. Okay, there's not much to explain here, I suppose. It's uh, pretty much straightforward. Just get this game going, you see. I can make a bed there now. What can I do? What can I do? He's gonna clean up the. Let's see if I can build a workbench. Because I'm kinda. I kinda got my setup down already. Uh, we can't build a workbench at the moment. We need more wood. Okay, let's see. We gotta wait for Paula to clean up the pile. And Bruno's gonna make the bed. We didn't get any food from the rubble here. Uh, yeah, maybe we should build a stove before we build a workbench. Can I build what do you need for a stove? Okay, I'm missing wood. Uh, it's fairly. Sh I'm fairly sure that uh, I'm gonna get some wood out of uh, that closet. Oh. Let's see locked okay I guess this is where we're gonna stay at on day one cuz yeah, we can't build it pretty much anything else at the moment just say w what we have uh, I'll put them to sleep I suppose so they'll be at least rested Okay, she's not even tired, so Bruno's gonna get to bed because he's tired. But I guess it's the moment where we can end the day. Yeah, it's 7 p.m. anyway already, so let's see. It's gonna be the first night. Okay, Bruno is tired, so I'm gonna make him sleep and I'm gonna make uh, Katya guard. Now the point here is that initially they're not gonna attack the house too bad so you don't need to have two people guarding anyway and as Bruno is sick I'm gonna give him a chance to sleep maybe he will uh, the sickness will wear off and I like to scavenge with Pavle because he has uh, 12 spaces in his uh, rucksack or inventory or call it whatever you want and he's also a fast runner and initially okay there's danger in this semi-detached house 
nothing in the ruined villa and no danger in ghost house uh, in this game there's gonna be moments when you need to run fast and uh, you need to know when to run also because sometimes the interaction with the world might surprise you and just out of nowhere people may start attacking you for example if you pass through their house to some sewers there will uh, some people who are not armed will gonna go run and call people who are armed and they will <laughs> they're gonna hunt you down I mean they, they're gonna know where you have gone I don't know how even if they don't see they're gonna just run to you and shoot you so I haven't uh, gotten to the point where I have armed someone and uh, had a little scrimmage, a little shootout. I, I've never tried that, so I'm not sure how will that result in. But enough of me just jibber jabbering on. Let's go and uh, prepare ourselves to raid the ghost house uh, because there's no danger in it. I guess it's the best uh, place to start off my uh, supply collecting and since I suppose there's no one there I'm not gonna take anything with me I'm gonna save uh, uh, save all the stuff that I need for the house and all the stuff that I don't need I'm gonna use for trading so let's go and scavenge okay I, I've been here so this shouldn't be a problem. I'm just gonna sneak anyway. Uh, those uh, red dots are most likely rats. But uh, in the future, when, the, when there's danger in the places, these are most likely going to be other people. And with people is that uh, sometimes they have these uh, thought bubbles on them so you know what they're thinking you know you may c get a hint of when they're hostile but sometimes it's just a guy walking around and you will never know if you don't have a if you can't see a visible weapon you don't even know is he hostile is he friendly what's gonna be his reaction of you being on this territory is it his his personal territory, is he looting like you? Yeah, you, like, you never know. Let's see, there's a lot of loot in this, in this cupboard there. Quality roll-up. Quality roll-ups are good for trades, but uh, what I start off with, I don't collect uh, things that I don't actually need to improve my house in the beginning, so gonna drop the quality roll up grab this wood grab these electronic parts uh, fertilizer I don't need that at the moment too and am ammunition is not necessary too okay basically this first looting is already over I would like to find food but uh, initially you can manage without food I guess I'll be coming back to this house more since it has some nice loot in it that I can't pick up this time. So initially I'm gonna pick up a lot of components, a lot of wood, uh, mechanical parts and electric parts so that you can, uh, with those you can um, improve your house and build stuff which is uh, as you, as you might understand, really important to sustain sustain your living in your house. But I'm just gonna check this house through, what do they have here. Now food. Food is something you can never pass, pass up. If you have food available, you should really pick it up. Especially if you have four food available. Uh, vegetables are quite rare too so we definitely should pick up vegetables and as I don't have a water purifier in the beginning I'm gonna ditch this this wood actually I needed some wood 
I'm not gonna ditch the wood, I'm gonna ditch the components at the moment and grab some water with me. This water is vital for cooking. Let's see. I hope there's actually no threat here. There shouldn't be any threats. As it says, there are no threats. But I can't, I guess I can't jump into that yard. Have to follow the path from under there. Can I even get there? Okay, it seems that I can't. I'm just gonna go through this house anyway. And see what's it all about. Okay, I'm not gonna sneak around. It's just waste, waste of time. Okay, I can't force this door open because I don't have a crowbar yet. Let's try to open that door, see what the room holds. I'm a little scary cat now, but you never can be too careful, can you? But yeah, there's, as you can see, no one here. Weapon parts. Weapon parts are useful, but I'm just gonna leave this stuff here at the moment, and I'm gonna come back and raid this house again. Okay, there's a little storyline. Okay, misery. Hang on and pray for me, coffee. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Coffee Anan was ready to Subira. But anyway, I guess that's it. So, I mean, his backpack is full of loot. So I guess we can just run to the exit anyway. And we're gonna come back to this house with a crowbar at least. And maybe a saw, saw blade would be good to open up the bars on the, in the basement. There was this barred door, not a door, but yeah, doors are barred here. It's a barred door. To open it up, it would be good. And to see what is there. So I think I'm gonna fully loot that place, even if I'm gonna go somewhere else. So everybody's happy here. Bruna is still recovering from his sickness we have some food but now we need a stove to cook on, to cook on and uh, let's see can we build a stove yes we can crude stove uh, everything you build here you can upgrade okay besides the beds as i already told place this stove in the kitchen uh, as i think it's the most suitable place for a stove Let's see, maybe we can build something else. Uh, no, okay. Fair enough. Just gonna save everything. I'm not gonna waste on building something useless, like a chair. As you can see, I can build a chair or a radio, but. These are pretty much useless. I mean, it, it supposedly brightens up the mood, and sometimes the mood may go down for various reasons. Like if you steal from people, if you maybe kill someone. But uh, I haven't gotten to that far. So let's see, let's check what we can cook. We don't have consumables. Hmm. We need two consumables. Four components. Or do I want to give away two wood? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna waste two wood to make those components. And it's time to wake up ye old Bruno to cook us something. Ye, ye old TV cook Bruno. And let's see. Okay, we can cook two food two cook food so who are we gonna feed so we can't feed everyone it seems and probably slept. it's just 9 a.m. so during the day sometimes you uh, okay most of most of every day I guess you're gonna have a random event so it's gonna be either be a trader or something else so but 
for the random event to occur you gotta wait until 12 a.m i guess or some something like that it won't occur in the start of the day so it's sometimes worth waiting but i guess initially it's not that important so as women are usually on a diet so i'm gonna just put katya to sleep because women are dieting anyway she doesn't need food at the moment I'll make Bruno eat because he's sick so maybe it helps him to recover and I'm gonna make Pavle eat because he's our scavenger basically that's how I'm gonna use him okay so I'll drop everybody to bed because there's pretty much nothing else you can do in the beginning I don't have any resources to build stuff and open these doors or that cupboard so I'm just gonna wait for a second here, maybe this random event will occur. But it seems it's not going to occur today. Just wait a few seconds here. Okay. No. Yes, no, yes, no. Uh, I guess that's a no for the day. So let's skip till the end of the day and go visit the ghost house again so bruna is still sick so he's still gonna sleep katya is hungry but she's gonna guard and paolo is the fast runner scavenger as you can see new places have opened up which you can scavenge but uh, i'm just gonna go back to the ghost house and i'm gonna gonna try to get something out of this house more so i hope i hope that nothing has no hostile uh, creatures have appeared in this building so i'm gonna go through it once more but in a super fast mode let's grab all just gonna grab everything initially and then if my pep Backpack is full. I'm gonna start sorting, figuring out the best loot. Because you pretty much want to grab everything from a pile. Doors open. Is there anything left in the refrigerator? Oh yeah, there's plenty of stuff here. ammo in the beginning there's plenty plenty of it in this game so grab the wood definitely need the wood the most at the moment sugar sugar is only good for trading i've never gotten up to making alcohol okay i'm gonna leave what leave this stuff in there at the moment Try to just grab necessities and get out of here. I don't want to spend much time here because we pretty much know what's in here already. Was there anything good here? Some more wood. Okay, I'm gonna. No, I don't need the weapon parts in the beginning, so I'm not just not gonna take them at the moment. They are a necessity, but just not at the moment. Okay, this house is pretty much looted too. Okay, I think I'm gonna get the weapon parts. Finish up looting this house. With a cigarette. And then I'm gonna finish for this first episode. Let's see, what is it, did I have here? Sugar. Quality roll up. Ammo. I don't need ammo. I'm just gonna take this quality roll up. It's good for trading. So one thing you should know about this game is that it's gonna save after the night. So you gotta go through the day and it's gonna save after you're done looting. So if you're gonna if you wanna quit the game, it's gonna start off from the morning again. So pretty much 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna finish this episode and start off from here the next time so we made it to day three and we have some decent loot going the one bad thing is that I don't have much food left okay we've been raided so as the game progresses there's gonna be people trying to raid you during the night and you want to prepare for that you can board up the uh, places where your house has been uh, destroyed uh, the holes in the building uh, you can uh, gear up with weapons with armor uh, and you want to have uh, if you can two people guarding it at times I haven't gotten as far as raiding has been ha has become like uh, undefendable uh, I think no character should die during the raids but they get wounded as you can see Bruno got slightly wounded uh, some we were attacked at night somebody tried to rob us blah 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 but this time they didn't make off with anything and we should put more people on guard actually more people is not that important if you get weapons because that helps to defend the building and as you can see they didn't get anything anything this time and Bruno got slightly wounded, slightly wounded is not that bad he can recover from it quite easily but yeah I guess that's enough for episode number one of this war of mine I guess there's not much else to say but if you watch this video thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video or episode or playthrough gameplay video thing okay have a nice night